great. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go home. I think we should go to Chow Funds. Chow Funds? I thought we both agreed that we really couldn't talk at Chow Funds. I know. What are you saying? I'm saying Chow Funds. You're saying child funds because you can't face telling the kids? Because if that's why you're saying child funds, don't say child funds. No, that's not why I'm saying child funds. I'm saying child funds because we're in us. There's a history here, and histories don't happen overnight. You know, in Mesopotamia or, or ancient Troy or somewhere back there, the, 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 there are cities built on top of other cities, but I don't want to build another city. I like this city. I know where we keep the back teen and, 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 and what kind of mood you're in when you wake up by which eyebrow is higher and you always know that I'm a little quiet in the morning and compensate accordingly. That's a dance you perfect over time. And it's hard. It's much harder than I thought it would be. But there's more good than bad and you don't just give up. And it's not for the sake of the children, but they're, oh God, they're great kids, aren't they? I mean, God, and we made them. I mean, think about that. It's like they were no people there, and then there were people, and then, and then, and then they grew. And I won't be able to say to some stranger, Josh has your hands. I remember how Aaron threw up at the Lincoln Memorial. <laughs> then I'll try to relax. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, anybody's going to have traits that get on your nerves. I mean, why shouldn't it be your annoying traits? And, and, and I'm no day at the beach, but I do have a good sense of direction, so at least I can find the beach, which is not a criticism of yours. It's just a, a strength of mine. And God, you're a good friend, and good friends are hard to find. <laughs> Charlotte said that, and Charlotte's rap, and I love the way you read that to Aaron, and you take on the voice of Wilbur the Pig with such commitment, even when you're bone tired. That speaks volumes about character, and ultimately, isn't that what it comes down to, what a person's made of? Because that girl in the fifth helmet is still in here. Bebo, I didn't even know she existed until I met you. And, and I'm afraid if you leave, I may, may never see her again. Even though I said at times you beat her out of me. Isn't that the paradox? Haven't we hit the essential paradox? Give and take, push and pull, yin and yang. The best of times, the worst of times. I think Dickens said it best. The Jack Spratt of it. He could eat no fat, his wife could eat no lean. But it doesn't really apply here, does it? I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm saying Chow Buzz because I love you. <laughs> oh. <laughs>